What's going on guys? So as you can see, I've got my whole Nintendo Switch collection here. Uh, i got some games, console, some accessories and controllers, and even another console behind me, a special edition one that I'll show you later. So in this video, I'm going to be seeing how much I can trade in my entire Nintendo Switch collection to GameStop for. Um, so I've done this video with a couple other my collections, my uh, PS4 collection and my Xbox 360 collection, you know, just seeing how much GameStop would give me if I traded it all in. And so now I'm doing that for my Nintendo Switch. So basically what I'll do is go through each game, controller, accessory, console, and basically type it in my computer over here, um, where I got my the GameStop trading website pulled up. And then we're going to add it up and, you know, see how much my whole collection's worth. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So let's first start with, hmm, I'm going to start with games. Um, so let's go ahead and first get Legend of Zelda. So I think this was actually the very first or one of the very first Nintendo Switch games to come out. Um, I know, I think I got this on release day. Um, so Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's put that in. Hopefully if we put in Legend of Zelda, it'll just be like the first one that pops up since it's the newest. Yeah, there it is. Um, so I'm going to also guess, I'm going to guess the values while I'm doing this. So I'm going to say $25. Um, you know, Nintendo, Nintendo games usually hold their value pretty well. Oh, wow. $33. So I'm going to go with the, the pro value, the, the max value. Um, so $33, that's actually not terrible, um, at least from GameStop standards. So $33 for Legend of Zelda. I'll just go ahead and put that over here. Um, next up, we got Mario Kart 8. Um, this is a really, really good Mario Kart. Uh, my, fa my favorite of all the Mario Karts so far. Um, I believe it also came out sometime last year. It wasn't one of the first games to come out, but it came out relatively soon after after the Switch came out. Oh, what is going on here? All right, so Mario Kart Switch. So for Mario Kart, I'm going to say, oh, 33 bucks. Didn't even give me time to guess. Um, so same thing. So that's a pretty good start, honestly. That's, you know, and it's, Nintendo games usually hold their value pretty well, especially Mario games. So next up, we got another game that uh, actually came out fairly recently, Super Mario Party. And, you know, this one's just kind of like a standard um, Super Mario game. So this one's also $33. Didn't even give me a chance to, to guess this one either. Um, so that's three. That's a trifecta. Three games in a row, $33 each. Um, $99 so far. That, that's pretty quickly adding up. That's a whole lot better than the PS4 um, collection was. Um, so next up, we got Mario Tennis Aces. So I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit less than 33, so maybe 30. Um, this one also came out fairly recently, so 29.70. Um, that's that's uh, that's is right about where I guessed it at. So I guessed 30, and it was 29.70. Um, so Mario Tennis Aces came out back in June, I think. Um, pretty fun game, but it's not like a it's not like a classic Mario game or anything. Um, so next up we got Super Smash Bros, and this just came out like within the last week. Um, Pretty sweet game so far, just like all the Super Smash, Smash Bros. games. Um, if you don't, if you never played them before, I definitely recommend them. They're always fun. Um, so I'm gonna say, uh, let's go with thirty-six dollars. Um, usually, I'll oh, say thirty-three dollars. So yeah, I, I guess that's not too surprising. Usually, usually games from GameStop, they you know they immediately take a hit. So if you bought the game, if we bought Super Smash Bros. for sixty bucks and then we went and traded it back in like five seconds later. It's almost half the value, which is basically what we're seeing here, and that's just that's just how GameStop does it. Um, it's kind of lame, honestly. I mean, they're gonna go back and resell it for fifty-five dollars, so I think they should at least give you like forty bucks. But you know, it is what it is. Um, it's better than a lot of PlayStation games I've seen on GameStop before. So next up is Nintendo Labo. Um, so Toy-Con. I actually have the whole box back here. It didn't really fit in the the shot, um, but here's the whole box of uh, Nintendo Labo. So I have this, but I haven't actually played it much yet. Um, so I haven't gotten a feel for it, but uh, yeah. Nintendo Labo Toy-Con. Let's see how much that's worth. Um, I honestly have no idea. Five dog. Okay, that's not even the right thing. Nintendo Dogs? How did they come up with that? All right, let's see. Maybe if I should search Labo. Oh, I bet it got Nintendo Dogs because it's, it's somebody church type in Lab like a like a Labradoodle. Um, still not seeing it. So maybe Labo. I don't know why I keep scrolling down. Um, Nintendo Switch Labo. I don't know why it's not finding it. This is weird. Well, 
Maybe GameStop is lame and doesn't even take it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll try it again later with a different search, but yeah, I'm not finding it for now. So The Incredibles. Now this is a game. Um, this is actually Incredibles Lego. Uh, pretty fun game. I bought this back when The Incredibles um, came out, or The Incredibles 2 came out fairly like six months ago or so. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably about 15 bucks. I'll say 16.50, right on. Um, so obviously this is not a Mario game, so it doesn't hold its value as much. So last Nintendo Switch game I got is Super Mario Odyssey. Now this might be my favorite out of all the games. It's if you haven't played it before, it's very similar to like Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64, just you know modern day version, um, Super 3D with new worlds and everything. And it's even got a couple nostalgic hints at Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64, which is kind of cool. All right, so Super Mario Odyssey. Let's go ahead and put that in. And I'm gonna have to say $33. I mean, $29.70. Wow. Hmm. I would have thought it'd be $33 like the rest of them, um, but I guess not. So now we got some Joy Cons. Let's just see how much a standard Joy Con goes for. So we gotta go over to accessories and Joy Con. So I'd assume they sell them by the pair, or maybe not. They actually sell them individually. That's kind of crazy. Um, so I got two gray ones right here. Let's just see how much the left gray one is. $13.20. Okay. Um, and let's see if we can find the right one. <laughs> Hopefully the right one is the same price. That'd be really weird if it wasn't. $13.20. Okay. So between the two of them, it's about $26. Bucks. Um, let me see if the the neon colors are any different, differently priced. So now they're $13.20 as well. Um, I thought, you know, being kind of cool colors, they might be worth a little bit more to GameStop, but GameStop doesn't care about stuff like that. Um, and now let's look at these um, little wheels right here. So first of all, I gotta say, these wheels, these things are terrible. Do not buy these if you're trying to play. Um, this is for, if you couldn't figure it out, this is you put your little Joy-Con in here and you can, you know, use this for Super Mario Kart. Um, but these things are, they're just bad. Like the controls in the back, they're, they're bad. And if you get a wheel, do not get that wheel. That's all I gotta say. And this is like the official Nintendo Switch um, wheel, which is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, let's see how much it's worth. Cause honestly, I might really want to trade this in cause it, they stink. So Switch Joy-Con wheel, um, let's just go with that. So $3.30. So between the two of them, about $6 and 660. So that might be worth it to me cause these things are so bad. Um, I might actually trade those in. Um, but yeah, don't buy those. <laughs> They're terrible. Um, let's see. I've got a couple other grips. These are grips for the Joy-Con. So basically, you slide your Joy-Cons in here, and it's kind of just like an actual controller. Um, so I'm assuming I can search Nintendo Switch grip, and it should pop up. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So it should be under accessories. And then, actually, I'll type in Joy-Con grip. There you go. Now it should pop up. So this is the official Joy-Con grip, um, and this one is like a third-party one. So I'll just assume they're both, you know, just a standard Nintendo Switch grip. So three dollars and thirty cents. So six sixty between the two of them, just like the wheels were. Um, so not not terrible. I mean, it's just a little piece of plastic. If you don't need them, you can just trade them in and get a couple extra bucks. Um, and now let's look at our Pro controller. So these things. Just like all the Nintendo products, these things like never go on sale. They're always like super expensive, and I think it's like seventy bucks retail. Um, I think you can usually find it like ten bucks off, but still, still pretty expensive. Um, so this is called the Nintendo. If I can spell it right, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. So I'm gonna guess like thirty bucks. Um, if we're lucky, we'll see. Thirty eighty. So right on, right on again. So 30 bucks for this thing, that's not terrible, I guess, but um, these things are really expensive to start with. But I think this is the best con the best controller there is. I think it's better than the Xbox One controller and PS4 controller. It's super solid, has a long battery life, and it fits really well in your hand. Um, but yeah, I got a couple of Amiibos now. Let's try those out. And then I also got this little <laughs> Super Smash Bros. coin. I just thought I'd show you guys this. I highly doubt GameStop will accept this, um, but this is like a pre-order gift for buying it from Best Buy. And it's it's pretty sweet. Um, just like a little little collectible coin. 
I actually think I got a collectible coin like this for Super, Mar Super Mario Odyssey as well. Not about that. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a little cool collector's edition kind of thing. Um, but let's search the Amiibos. I think they might have those on here. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we'll see. Um, these are like the special Mario wedding edition. So you got Bowser, Mario, and Peach. Um, I bought these when, when I bought Super, Super Mario Odyssey because it was like a, a special kind of thing. Um, so this is not the right thing. 3DS Amiibo Reader. That is not right. Um, let's see. They probably don't take Amiibos. I wouldn't really be surprised. Yeah, Mario Wedding doesn't pop anything up. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to assume GameStop doesn't take like, Amiibos. But you know, you could probably sell these for like a couple bucks each. So maybe 10 bucks between all of them. Hopefully a little bit more, but I don't know. Being conservative, I'm just assuming GameStop would take them. Um, so next up, I think we got one more accessory, and then we got some consoles to look at. So I got a case now. I got to say, I I've done a review on this case. I'll put a link in the description. But, um, but this is a really good case for your Nintendo Switch. Um, obviously, your Switch goes in here. You got a little pouch to put some stuff in, accessories. And then you got a space for eight games and then um, some SD cards, or eight games slash SD cards. Um, so yeah, it's it's really it's really useful for just you know local carry. Um, it's not gonna fit all your everything in it, um, but it'll fit your console and some games, and it's it's pretty reasonable too. I think it's like 15 bucks. Um, but let's see if they have it on here. So switch. Um, I don't even know what you call it case. Just a switch case, I guess. I know there's a ton of different cases, but this is pretty generic. 660. Honestly, GameStop might just have it under kind of an umbrella kind of thing where. Any case you trade in is six dollars and sixty cents, so um, six bucks. That's not not terrible, um, but yeah, I definitely recommend that case if you need one. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the consoles now. So first of all, this is just my daily console that I use every day. Um, well, not every day because I don't play the Switch every day, but this is just my console that I use for playing the Switch. So if we go over to consoles, we'll type in Switch, and it should just be the standard Switch that pops up. So I'm gonna see if the Greg Con Con one is or the gray Joy Con one is different than the colored one. Um, so 165, um, I should have guessed. That's that's probably right about where I would have guessed. 165. These things retail for 300. So um, you know a little bit more than 50% of the price. So it's not not awful considering GameStop, um, but not great either. Let's see if the colored one is any more. So nope, still 165. Um, it's not terrible. Um, and, and as I told you guys earlier, I have another special edition console that we're going to see how much it is. So this one's actually pretty new. Um, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Edition. I haven't even opened it up yet. It's brand new. Um, kind of trying to decide if I want to keep this one and get rid of my old one or just um, return this one or get rid of it or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a Super Smash Bros. Edition console. Um, let's see if, obviously from just searching Switch here, it looks like they just do the same thing um, as the cases where they just put all the Nintendo Switches under an umbrella and they're kind of just all the same whether it's a limited edition or not so that's kind of sad because this is a pretty cool looking console um, it should definitely be worth more than than the, uh, just the standard Nintendo Switch but it's probably not on GameStop um, but let's give it a try I'm gonna search for Switch um, I don't know Super Smash Bros Switch and we'll see if it pops up probably won't nope so I should have assumed that's gonna be one hundred sixty five dollars as well which is kinda of lame but you know that's not surprising considering GameStop so I didn't actually add everything up in my head while I was doing this um, but I've had if I had to guess where it was it's probably about five hundred to seven hundred dollars somewhere around there um, I'll try to go ahead and add it up and let you know, guys know what how much it was um, but if you guys get a chance go ahead and add it up and let me know how much it was um, but I think it was between five hundred and seven hundred dollars somewhere around there which is not too bad considering this uh, it's a pretty small collection, only about a year and a half old. So let me know down in the description what you guys think of GameStop. You know, as always, I think GameStop has its good, has its bad, but it's, you know, its trading value is usually pretty lame, which is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the description what you think of GameStop, and thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day.